All right, uh, today I'm going to show you how to connect to DigitalOcean via SSH and in general setting up SSH keys, an SSH session, and then a Win SCP uh, session in order to do secure file transfer. And this is all for the Windows user. There are other techniques for connecting when you're working with Linux or Mac OS. So let's get started. First of all, I'm sitting here on DigitalOcean looking at this droplet. Here's my IP address. I'm going to need that to set up my client applications. So let's copy that into the buffer. And then you'll want to download, and here you can see I'm downloading WinSCP. You want, probably want the 64-bit. Most Windows machines are running 64-bit. Um, and I'm getting it. I just Googled this as a download site. but um, downloading the putty and this one also gets you the key generator and then over here I'm downloading WinSCP um, and this will be for the file transfer all right um, once I've got those downloaded and installed um, I'm going to click on the Windows key and pull up the putty gen and I'm going to start with that because you need that key in place before you can do the PuTTY SSH session. So what we're going to do is generate a public-private key pair and save them to our local drive. DigitalOcean asks you to use SHA-2 SSH2, but RSA is SSH2, so leave that clicked, the type of key to generate. And then all you need to do is click on this Generate button, and you're moving your cursor around to create randomness, which helps to create unique keys. Um, that's the purpose of this. And then here you go, you see your key. You can see in here, this should look sort of familiar, this public key SSH-RSA. You've seen this before when setting up your GitHub connections. Um, so you can just leave that, and then you're basically going to save public key and save private key. And you can see here in save public key, I have saved mine, I've already saved this. The public key is the .text file, because this is open text, you want to be able to read it. Sometimes you copy it. We're not going to need to do that today, but I've saved the, the public key as a text file. And then I would save the private key, and, and I, I'm going to save it without a passphrase. So you could passphrase it, but you don't need to and sometimes it can get in the way. So I'm just going to, and this is going to get the PPK extension, so DigitalOcean PPK. And you can see I've just picked a directory. I'm using .ssh, which is the hidden directory. Normally you see that used in Linux bash um, systems. Um, and then I've created a subdirectory putty just to help me remember when and why I created this. So you would then save your, your PPK file. And once you've done that, you're ready to start your session. So you and and you want to remember where you save those um, because you're going to need to point to them. So to start the session, we just bring up Putty. Okay, and you can see I've created and saved sessions, but let's go through the process of doing that. So first of all, I'm going to control V my my IP address that I copied into the buffer. Uh, I will um, then want to to go to the data and my auto login name will be root so type that in then i will go to ssh and auth click on that and then i will browse and i will select this ppk file that i saved that i of the key the private key that i created then you can go back up and if you click on session you can actually name this so you know do whatever you can see i've already done some saving and you can save it and that way in the future you just click on this and you will be able to you won't have to re-enter all of that you won't have to enter the ip address and the and pull the key up and such but anyway to get the session going we click on open and this will log us in. You can see we're logged into DigitalOcean and we um, are ready to go. So no password in, involved, uh, just using our public private key access. 
Now, the final thing we want to look at is the WinSCP. So if I pull up WinSCP, and this is going to allow us to transfer files. So again, I'm going to Control-V, paste my, my name in there. And the username is root. And if I click on the advanced button, go to authentication, pull up my private key. OK, now I am ready to log in. And again, I can save it, save as if I want. And that way I can just double click to, to do this again. But when I log in, what you're going to see, it will connect. And it will actually open up this GUI window that has my local drive on the left and DigitalOcean drive on the right. And actually just dragging and dropping items can move them, upload them from one place to another. So let's move that back. And that is as easy as you get and you can actually do some file management while you while you have this FTP secure FTP going. So that's the way you would solve upload and download problems. All right, well I hope that helps and again this is for the Windows user.